Hey everybody, welcome to CR Into Designers, Chetan here and in this tutorial we are going to do cool hard surface modeling. So now let's get started. So add a cube and control 2 to subdivide it or you can add the subdivide surface modifier directly from the modify tab. Then choose it level 1 and then apply that subdivide surface modifier. Then you need to add one more cube, shift A for that and make sure align that cube according to your sub D cube. You can turn on the extreme mode because we will use the intersect boolean operation. Now you need to select the both cubes and then use the intersect boolean operation. You can use the bool tool or boolean modifier which will work same. Just adjust the size of there and then you can apply that boolean modifier. And now you need to add the subdivision surface modifier here and then share smooth it. You will get something kind of this kind of result. And now we need to create the right topology, supporting topology for our mesh. So just select these faces before that and then use the insert operation. So press I to insert and give the proper insert amount. Now select these corner faces. They are like a triangle. So just select these all triangle faces and then insert them. And now you can turn on your sub D modifier, so in surface modifier and you can see the result. Which kind of result do you want is totally depend on you. Then add a loop cuts at the center of all faces. We will use the symmetry, so don't worry about it. So just select these words and connect vertex path because we want to make the core based topology, core based supporting topology to maintain the shape and that's the important thing in the sub D modeling you can use the polygon or uh, sorry chords means four vertex chords or tri um, triangles then use the symmetry symmetrize which will deform your chord based topology but we can edit it later so use the symmetrize and choose the right axis every time so you can see I need to add loop cuts on the top faces and then same step connect vertex path. And now select everything after the connecting these words. So now select everything, mesh and then symmetrize and then choose the right axis. Now along the z axis I have taken the symmetry here. And now you can see after turning on that subdivision surface modifier. And just you need to see the result. So you can see the symmetrize deform our chord based topology. So now we need to recreate that chord based topology. Before that, you can dissolve few edges and you can see the mesh, its edge flow. And how do you want? If you want a smooth edges, then you can dissolve some edges. And if you don't want, if you want more sharper edges, then you can leave these edges. And it's totally is depend on your shape. So here I want to see how does it look after removing some edges. So I feel that it should be little smooth. So that's why I'm uh, dissolving these edge loops. So I will get a more smooth shape, like curved form, not too hard, sharper form. Now you need to select this edges and you need to dissolve them because we want that chord based topology here so that's why you need to dissolve it i will add more booleans on it so that time also i will take a symmetry and that's a so then also i need to recreate the topology but this is the one kind of model and we will create its next version so now select these faces and use the extrude along the normal and then use the extrude operation and then insert operation press I to insert press E to extrude now you need to increase the subdivision surface modifier level so you will get the more smooth edges good shape for your mesh now you need to add the loop cuts which will maintain the shape so supporting loop cuts supporting geometry is very important just add this loop cuts
here you can use a symmetry also if you want to re uh, reduce uh, your your efforts then then also you need to recreate the topology because we want that right topology every time the topology is important and you can use a trigon also in some cases but try to use the chords more now you can see our mesh looks pretty well decent now we want to take it to the next level means we will add bullions and you can see these are for a uh, six edges at the corner so i will add a cylinder with the six words and change it to the triangle fan means cap fill type should be the triangle fan and now i need to move that cylinder at the center of this triangle faces okay so that's why it's a little bit tricky you can use the move tool and that's why you need to try different angles different rotations for your mesh so just rotate it and here i try how can i move that cylinder to that particular center of that triangle kind of face so you can use the local axis means orientation transform or you may say transform orientation orientation so just rotate it so you will get its local axis local rotation x now just scale it down and just i want to take it to that take it to that center point so just move it like this and now you need to rotate it into the 45 degree so you can use the extreme mode and that will help you in a better way so just rotate it along the its local axis so you need to change it to the change the transform orientation or orientation transform and now you can see this so i try to fix that center at that in between those two corners and now just you need to adjust the scale and now that's good you can duplicate it shift d to duplicate just for the backup i always like to keep the backup collection you can set its origin to the 3d cursor and you can take it to rotation if you don't want to mess up that topology then you will feel uh, you have to do the more work right there so otherwise make a hole at the same at the one place and use the symmetry and then recreate the topology one more time so here you can use the simple pull tool don't use the loop tool to create this kind of cylindrical boolean here because which will mess up your geometry so now he this is the most important case in this so select this inner faces and then extrude them and scale it down and make sure you don't need to mess up the topology the edge flow of the main part so that's why i have selected these faces and i have extruded uh, them inside and i have scaled them inside scale it down because i don't want to mess up the edge flow of the outer edge which is the right edge flow so that's why you need to merge the words like this so you can see i'm not destroying the edge flow i'm destroying the inner edge flow of that cylinder means uh, that cylindrical boolean and that also we can manage it but we can't uh, manage the outer edge flow which will deform the shape of the mesh its curvedness so that's why I select these faces and then scale them down you can use the scale tool for that press s to scale it down and now you can see that look pretty well we need to add more loop cuts and you can use the select everything and merge press m and then merge by distance to see just to check that uh, there should not be any double words so you can select everything and press m and then merge by distance you can adjust the merge distance also there and now you can see that's look pretty well decent 
and now we need to add loop cuts so that's why just add a loop cuts like this you need to insert these faces and then you can add a loop cut you will also I forgot that the inner topology is like a triangle you can make it change it to the chord easily okay now add a loop cuts and see your mesh if you want more sharper edge then you can add the tight loop cuts if you want more smoother then you can go for it and now you can use the loop tool to get the perfect circle how it's very easy so select your edge like this and if you want it should be more circular then you can use the loop but you, if you want to try this kind of effect on your mesh then you can go for it it's totally the creative part creative process so select this edge loop and you can dissolve and you can add the edge loops right there now select this mesh and you can try scale it down and then you select you can select this edge and then use loop tool to make it circle so you will get more circular shape circular boolean like a cylindrical boolean right there and that's look pretty well now just we need to do the symmetry so just try to make it the right shape for your mesh and that's look pretty well decent kind of modeling we have done here now we need to take the symmetry and select everything mesh and symmetrize now choose the y-axis then one more time you need to select everything mesh symmetrize and now you need to choose the z-axis and then you will get the proper booleans all over the mesh and that's look pretty well decent kind of modeling we have done here now we need to create the core based topology here so now you can dissolve these edges if you want more details then you can add definitely on this mesh just, this is just for the tutorial purpose so i'm not going in more deep and now you can see it's look pretty well so you can use such kind of processes to improve your creativity so thanks for watching if you like this tutorial then hit the like button and subscribe my youtube channel bye bye see you in the next video take care